Okay, this will be Bible Quiz 17, three-star questions. Number one, who lay on his left side for 390 days? Two, who threw another man's furniture out of the house? Three, where were altars thrown into the water? Four, where were so many gifts brought to the high priest they took four months to collect? Five, where do we read of people standing at the entrance to prison? Six, where do we read of trees fainting? Seven, where is a person told to stop talking? Okay, <clears throat> we'll look at the answers now for this. Number one, who lay on his side for 390 days? The answer is found in Ezekiel chapter 4, verses 4 through 5. It says, Lie thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it, thou shalt bear their iniquity. For I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, 390 days, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. So the answer is Ezekiel. Ezekiel did that. Number two, who threw another man's furniture out of the house? So that answer is going to be found in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah comes after Ezra in the Bible, after 2 Chronicles. And then in Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 8, we'll find the answer says, And it grieved me sore, therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. So Nehemiah speaking there. The answer is Nehemiah. Number three, where were altars thrown into the water? Where were altars thrown into the water? Second Chronicles 30, verse 14. Second Chronicles 30 and verse number 14. And they arose and took away altars that were in Jerusalem, and all the altars for incense took away and cast them into the brook Kidron. So they just list the reference. So where did that happen? Second Chronicles 30, 14. Um, I guess it was, I would say physically, the location is the brook of Kidron. So either one of those answers could be correct. Number four, where were so many gifts brought to the high priest they took four months to collect? St. Chronicles 31, 4 through 7. Uh, Moreover, he commanded the people that dwelt in Jerusalem to give the portion of the priests and the Levites that they might be encouraged in the law of the Lord. And as soon as the commandment came abroad, the children of Israel brought in abundance the first fruits of corn, wine, and oil and honey, and of all the increase of the field, and the tithe of all things, brought they in abundantly. And concerning the children of Israel and Judah that dwelt in the cities of Judah, they also brought in the tithe of oxen and sheep, the tithe of holy things which were consecrated unto the Lord their God, and laid them by heaps. In the third month they began to lay the foundation of the heaps, and finish them in the seventh month." So the answer is Second Chronicles 31, 4 through 7. It's, uh, uh, they just give you the reference again as the answer. Okay, number five. Where do we read of people standing at the entrance to prison? So that's back in Nehemiah again. Nehemiah 12, 39 says, And from above the gate of Ephraim, and above the old gate, and above the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Mea, even unto the sheep gate, and they stood still in the prison gate. So they list the reference as the answer, Nehemiah 39, or pff, Nehemiah 12, 39. Um, but if you wanted actual answers, I guess, in the gate of Ephraim, and the old, actually they're standing above a lot of gates, and they're standing still in the, the prison gate, I guess that's you know, near the gate of Ephraim, I would assume. But uh, anyway, they're just listing the references as uh, answers for a lot of these questions. So number six, where do we read of trees fainting? 
Ezekiel 31, 15. That's what they list as the answer, but we'll read the verse at least. Ezekiel 31, verse 15. And it says, Thus saith the Lord God in the day when he went down to the grave, I caused a mourning. I covered the deep for him, and I restrained the floods thereof, and the great waters were stayed, and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. So they list the reference as the answer, Ezekiel 31, 15. Um, I guess physically you could say Lebanon, because it says he caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. So it would make sense that it was the trees in Lebanon, which is interesting, because... If I'm not mistaken, the modern day flag of Lebanon has trees on it, or a tree on it at least. Okay, and then the last question here, number seven, where is a person told to stop talking? Where is a person told to stop talking? Uh, that's going to be found in the book of Amos, comes after the book of Joel, after Hosea, book of Amos. Chapter 6, verse number 10, says, And a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him to bring out the bones of the house, and shall say unto him, That is by the sides of the house, is there yet any with thee? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. So in Amos six ten, it says, Hold thy tongue, which uh, would be to stop talking. It doesn't. See, they put that in quotes, like that's what the scripture says. So I don't know if they're using a modern version as a basis uh, for this Bible quiz. Probably not, because this is this booklet was made in the 50s. Um, but anyway, yeah, hold your tongue is is the same as, as not being able to talk. And so Amos 6.10 is the answer there. It's a reference answer. And that'll wrap it up for the three-star difficult questions of quiz number 17.